Hello everyone. Uh, Maria and I just wanted to come on and make a little video for everyone who comes to our website and is interested in our readings and our sessions and kind of a little bit about what we do. Um, we're both nurses who have made a churn and just went full into our business to really empower people in numerous ways. And we're both shamanic practitioners, um, spirit mediums, energy workers, what else are we? Um, <laughs> record readers. We're limitless. Yeah, we're limitless. <laughs> yes. Except we don't re read astrology. Um, but we do connect to the star systems and stuff. Um, but we just wanted to make a little video and give you a quick little breakdown of our types of sessions that we hold. One of the biggest ones that we really love is our limitless session. And that session is a combination of all types of healing because we are since we're both shamans and energy workers we do a lot of trance healing so in that you can get like um, medical in intuition stuff where we can go into your body we look at your energy systems um, with that we can do like ancestral clearing we can if you have um like pains or ailments or any any type of health issue we can really go in and try and find the root cause of it and then give you tools to empower you um what else are the limitless sessions maria um part of the energy healing also chakra balancing for those of, that are familiar with the chakra centers so um like sam's saying we do the medical intuition as far as like the actual physical organs and everything in your body but we can also go into the chakra centers to see where there's either blockages intrusions um overreactivity in those chakras and spirit will give us a lot of guidance as far as um, where it stemmed from and how to like healthily move forward through those blockages. Mm -hmm. We do um, straight mediumship, we do animal communication, dream interpretation, which is all umbrellaed under these limitless sessions, um, angel communication, galactic family communication, um, Akashic record readings are one of our really big things that we do. Um, it kind of gets pulled into sort of every limitless session. And really when we're in the Akash is when we're able to really pull into all these um, other realms, the angelic realms as well. Um, so that's why we like to call them limitless because a whole bunch of information comes through at once. It's not from necessarily just your, your loved ones that have passed away, right? Like we're really tapping into the energy of all of it. Um, so that's why we call them limitless. We say we don't do astrology because neither one of us have been formally trained in astrology. But as Sam said, um, we do work with like the star systems, the star beings based on how spirit shows us. So a lot of what we read um, from the cosmic realms is, is, is truly driven by spirit. It's got nothing to do with what we've learned in the external um, teachings that are out there with astrology. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much, I think that's everything in our Limitless sessions. Yeah, and we do a lot of, um, we, we really become the hollow bone and the clear channel in all of our sessions. And we believe that all of us are very limit, um, limitless beings. And the only thing that limited us is our belief and what we've kind of come to think that we are um, based on external environment and everything else. So we really, in our sessions, we love to give you the opportunity to decide if you want a reading, healing, both. The spirit takes over every session anyways. So even yeah. if you want to talk to your loved ones, they're like, okay, let's bring in the loved ones. But then we're going to like give you a story that's also healing and then bring forth spirit guides and power animals to help you now as well. It's not just strict one thing it's really because we are limitless we yeah. are we're all divine beings in a in a human flesh skin suit or meat package whatever you want to call it <laughs> um so we really didn't want to just have a session that's strictly one thing because mm -hmm. we're, we're so much more than that and we need to really start embodying that also in the limitless sessions um we can bring through like inner child work shadow work um parts work where if like something, you feel something pulsating on you, you can tap into where that kind of derives from and support you with connecting to that to bring forth the healing. Um, and we really 
we really give a lot of empowering tools to help you tap into your own inner healing intelligence in all of our sessions, not just the limitless ones. Um, so the limitless ones, you can do uh, half an hour, 45 minutes, five, an hour. hour and an hour and a half. Yeah. Yep. So you can book with either of us. And then we also have a yin yang limitless soul session where you can book um, with both of us at the same time. And everything that we offer in the individual limitless sessions, you get from both of us in that hour time frame. And I have to say, those sessions have been some of our most popular ones. Um, they're pretty powerful because you're getting two of us with. We have a lot of the same guides, but we also have different guides. So when we are tapping into somebody's energy, the guides are working with us and giving us different, they're showing us different parallel lives. They're showing us different information, but it all comes together and ties together as like one unified message. So it's, you're getting really two, per, two channelers, right? Two perspectives. Um, but all, I mean, really all of our clients are saying that getting the two viewpoints really just brings everything home. So we have found that these sessions have been incredibly empowering for people. Um, so yeah, definitely look into those because they're really, they're, there's a lot packed into an hour. And we do record our sessions as well because um, we think it's important that when you come for a reading or healing that you kind of just allow yourself to be present for it and experience it. And if you're busy writing and trying to take notes and take everything in, that, that distracts you and takes away from it. So we record all of our sessions um, with the permission of the client. We don't share them. We don't, we don't rewatch them, but we send them to you afterwards. So then you have them and you can go back and watch it as many times. Because I know before I was doing this work and had readings done prior by other mediums, um, I've saved them. And I've gone back over the years. And there's always messages that are are meant for even now. So um, I think it's pretty cool that we do that for our clients. And I think it's important because it allows you to really be present in the session and then also be able to uh, deep dive into the session several times later if you want to. So, yeah. Yeah. And we even if we do it over the phone or if we happen to be doing it in person, you can totally record it. Um, yep. There's nothing, everything we bring through is completely love and we connect to your highest potential on every single timeline. Mm -hmm. We really bring forth the energy of um, all dimensions and all timelines to support you, to like pull in the love and the wisdom and the healing from each one to really embody who you are in this life now. Um, we also offer Monopoly of Light, which was a channeled healing modality that I was given. And then Maria was given a prayer to combine with it, where me and you, I mean, me and Maria, we both work with the client. If you've had um, the virus or you've gotten the shot and it's if you've had residual energies from it or if you have kind of a fear around it, and we go into your body and it's like this modality I was given of like recalibrating your DNA and bringing to surface kind of that lingering denser energy that's been weighing you down from either or of the, um, the virus or the shot or both if you've had it. We recommend that. That's like, what is that, an hour, hour and a half, right? Um, yeah, the first session's um, up to an hour and a half long, and then if Spirit recommends two follow-up sessions, we do that as well individually with one of us. Mm -hmm. um, there was something I was just going to say about the monopoly of light. Um, oh, what we have found in the sessions we've done too, um, so like we're going in and we're really seeing what adverse effects have lingered, like Sam was saying, from either the shot or the virus, but what we have also found is that it attaches or grabs on to areas that were already sort of diseased or sick inside of you to begin with. Um, so it, it also, it, it's like another form of an organ scan for you as well, because we're able to see more than just what the effects of the shot or the virus did to you. It's usually um, highlighting something else that you also had going on. So it's really a, a pretty, um, pretty packed in kind of healing because it's, Though the intention was to help recalibrate um, the energies from those two things, it's also really healing um, all other aspects that maybe you haven't been aware of that are kind of happening in the body. Because 
Oftentimes we're not aware of it until it does manifest in a very, very physical disease, right? So this, this kind of allows us to go in and see it before it, it blows up into something potentially bigger. Mm -hmm. So that is the monopoly of light. Yeah. And you can do that if you haven't gotten the shot and you're going to. Um, Maria has been channeled a prayer to give you as well. Yep. And then as soon as you um, do get the shot, we do the session to really, which we've done and it's, it's helped. Um, and there's less of like that, the, the adverse effects after. And what Maria was saying with like disease in, in certain parts of the illness is really those imbalances, energy imbalances within our body from inflammation, energy, life um, that we bring to the surface, do healing, and then give you tools to continue the healing. Um, and then we offer soul igniter, which is like a form of soul retrieval where we it's a shamanic um practice it's a traditional yeah it's a traditional like if you were to look into um the shamanic roots and how shamanism came to be soul retrieval is one of the very like ancient traditions um and sam and i just didn't the name of it didn't really resonate with us anymore with how the modality really is um which is why we call it soul igniter um but if you are at all familiar with shamanic work, it is also known as soul retrieval. And um, yeah, essentially what we're doing is we're going into, you know, your energy field and we're looking into e either your current life or other lives where you've had trauma. And what happens when we have trauma oftentimes is we get stuck in the trauma. We don't see the lesson in it. So in turn, like our body, our nervous system holds onto the trauma, right? So this is why they used to call it soul retrieval, but we kind of have a hard time with that because we don't believe that you lose your soul, right? Like when we're in the human form, your soul is always your soul. It's the most pure, eternal form of us. It's the most, it's the truest essence. It doesn't go anywhere. You don't lose it. But when we are in the human form, we get caught in the trauma of life and life experiences. So we become very disconnected from our soul. Though our soul is always there, it never leaves us. Our ego comes in as a protector to kind of shut that voice off. So pretty much every human could benefit from soul igniter, soul retrieval, because we've all experienced trauma on, on every caliber, every magnitude, right? Like trauma just means it's taking you out of your safe homeostatic natural frequency. Anything that happens to you that pulls you out of that alignment and then you can't see the lesson in it, um, then the body holds on to it as trauma. And so what we are doing in the soul igniter is we're going to different parts of your soul that are really wanting to connect with the human part of you. And your human part is ready to receive these, these pure essences. So we're not returning the, tr the traumatized part. That is like something that I think is very important for people to understand. We're not returning the part that was traumatized, right? We will, when we go in to do the modality, we will be shown the trauma of why this, why this disconnect happened to help you to understand it and to move through it. But we are not actually returning the traumatized part. We're, tr we're returning the part that existed like before the trauma. So with this, you really get back like these amazing gifts and these amazing... Um, just ways of being that we were in our in our other lives and in this life before the trauma happened, right? When we were really in our light. So you're, what you're re receiving back is, is not the trauma, though we have to acknowledge it um, as we're doing the healing. There's always, spirit is very um, compassionate about how we deliver the message. So it's not to necessarily re-traumatize people, but we also need to bring these sort of shadows to the surface to know why we feel the way we do, why we react the way we do. So much of our patterns are very unconscious because we don't know we have these energies within us from our current life. A lot of it stems from childhood and then from other lives that we've lived. Um, we suppress a lot to try to protect ourselves. So Soul Igniter is all about really reclaiming that inner flame, that inner light, your truest essence. And when, you return, when we return these aspects of us, it just makes you feel fulfilled. Like a lot of us walk around feeling like we have voids, right? Because we on some level know we're disconnected from our spirit. And so this is a, an amazing modality that really empowers and helps um, us to really reclaim our, 
our truest version of ourself. Um, these are anywhere from four to five sessions depending on what spirit recommends for each client, but it can be up to five sessions. Um, we do usually, well, we always re require like a consult before we do it because it's a pretty um, intensive form of energy healing and, and messages that come through. So we like to make sure that, um, you know, you are really ready for it. And we always consult with spirit before we do anything for anyone. That's one of our biggest things. Like we don't just take your money and say, this is what you want. Like, we truly are that hollow bone, as Sam was saying. Like we take this work very um, seriously in the sense that um, we really want to make sure that we're coming at it from compassionate, true heart-centered intention. And spirit is that energy, right? So the only way to really come at it from that angle is to set a clear intention that we're that clear channel, that hollow bone, that is something that she and I are like we are so firm on and that's why we have to always keep doing our own inner work to make sure that um, when we do this work for people we are not regurgitating our own egoic sort of fears and perspectives of things so just know that whatever you come to us for it's always we always get the okay from your guides before we do anything yep it's very sacred sacred work yeah. and with the soul igniter and any of our sessions we really try and give you the tools because we need to learn that we can do things ourselves and the power that comes when we can really use the tools that are from our higher self and spirit and not just, you know, things we read in a book or a thing, but things that are actually our individual things. We don't connect strictly to you. And that goes into, um, Maria also teaches, you know, we both do, but she has a special thing that she does about shamanic journeying where she teaches you going to like different realms so you can connect with your guides and in the soul igniter we also do that um we we it's a very shamanic thing like we said so we it's four to five sessions because we teach you how to go to your guides we go to your guides too because in order for the healing to fully integrate and process you need to do the work you, you, yeah. you have to do the work we give you. And that's why we ask Barrett, like, is it time? You know, like, because we, we know when you don't do the work, we're not going to like hassle you, but it's, right. it's up to you. But right. um, that leads into also our coaching. We both offer coaching, which is yeah. on our on our site. We don't have to go into all of that right now. Um, and then we do, um, I do the moon madness every month, just two moons, where I do energy healing distantly over three days. And with clearing and a card pull and then some type of transmission or channeling. Um, what else do we do? Uh, a whole bunch. But yeah, those are like our, um, I would say those are our, our top sellers, our most popular sessions, what we do the most of. Um, oh, past and life. Yeah, I said the Akashic Records, yeah. Um, yeah, Akashic Record, Past Lives, that's a huge part, and that tends to come through in all, pretty much every every yin-yang session we do. We're always in your Akashic Records on some level, um, whether you've set that intention or we've allowed spirit to take the wheel. Um, for those that aren't familiar with the Akashic Fields, it's really, it's another way of saying the quantum field. It's the, the land of the limitless. It's where every thought, every reality is that ever has been thought of in the past, present, future, it lives in the Akash, right? We are all part of the Akash. So we specifically will tap into your Akashic field to find out what other lives um, have a parallel message to what's going on in your current life. So it helps to bring forth um, healing just by getting the messages. It helps you to sort of understand maybe why you are the way you are in this life. Um, I feel like that happened. Everybody kind of has that epiphany when they get an Akashic record, like, oh my God, that's why I do that. Because again, we do a lot of unconscious, we have a lot of unconscious behaviors that we don't even know where they stemmed from. And oftentimes it's from these other parallel lives that we're living. And many of us have been in the same sort of karmic cycle multiple, multiple times. And what I'm understanding in this life is there's many of us here that want to break that because the Akashic records I read, I, I, readings I do, it's like it is, it's a karmic pattern that is 
that's playing out in the person's life right now too, right? Like it might be a different situation, but the message is very clear that the energy of what's happening is karmic. It's it's a pattern, it's a loop. It's something that, which really just means like, yeah, ha we haven't learned the lesson from it that our soul wanted to learn. So we're just going to keep repeating it until we're like, oh yeah, okay, that's what I wanted to learn. Yeah. That's what I wanted to break free of in this. Time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Akashic <laughs> Records are, are amazing and, and have so much healing wisdom in them because it's your soul book. Like it's your soul's blueprint that we're tapping into when we're tapping into your Akashic field. Um, your mega computer. We yes. Live. Like anything that you've ever like thought of in, in any incarnation, like it's in your Akashic energy field and we can, we can tap into that. So those, those are pretty powerful sessions um, as well. Mm -hmm. And we do, you know, we do monthly specials. Um, it's always on our specials page. We change them up every month based on what spirit guides us. So we'll usually do a special with the yin yang or the monopoly of light with the two of us. And then we offer our own individual specials. And then Wednesday night, we do our free meditation, which has been going on now since November, and we're building a beautiful little soul community there. Um, it's on Zoom. It's every Wednesday, 9 o'clock to 10 East, East Coast time, and for those in Arizona, it's um, 6 to 7. They tend to go longer because everybody likes to chat. So it's um, Sam and I will get a channeled meditation prior to. We play it, it's usually about 30 to 40 minutes, and then we allow just free time to share, ask questions, people just kind of talk about their own spiritual path, what they're going through, and it's just a safe space for everybody to just like get that stuff out and share and learn, and um, it's, it's a beautiful little community we're growing. So that is every Wednesday night, so if you go to our webpage on the specials, you can request the link there, or you can join our online free meetup group which is where we actually list like all of our events that we do mm -hmm. so. and you don't have to get on and talk you don't have to nope. put your, your screen on um you can just get on zen and sleep um, and yep. like maria said we download them onto youtube after which i think is very good um but what else was gonna say and also i offer um if you want like a personalized meditation that connects to your purpose your soul to kind of help you that's also something you can book um and i'll send we can send that to you but one thing real quick last thing is when it comes to energy work everyone thinks like reiki or reiki or whatever um yes i know how to do reiki yes we both do energy work but we do it's different but it has pretty much a similar effect. We, we go into your energy, we go into your body, we go into all of your auras on. And, um, but we aren't, we aren't doing like a formula or anything. We're channeling strictly the guides, our creator love, also mother earth and like healing elements. That's what the shamanic practitioner does. It incorporates all of life because we are all of life like all of us. So we tap in completely into your fields to bring forth what needs to be brought forth and and release it or transmute it. And um, they're very powerful and beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, so even though on our thing it doesn't say Reiki, it's, it's, we're all energy and it comes with intention and how the person connects right and bees that bees and is that hollow bone to really support people um there our sessions are really beautiful and i'm not just saying that because there are our sessions but we do a lot of work every day on ourselves to be there for all of you because we love you and we realize how important it is to merge ancient wisdom to merge holistic practices to merge the universe to merge love to empower us all to really shine in our light and, and like see what that light is so we can live mm -hmm. a better life and not just simply exist here because that's we're not mm -hmm. here to simply exist we're here to live we're here to feel we're here to enjoy things and um we want to support people in doing that because we know what it's like to not be like that too you know yes and you're you're when you come to us you're not just getting everything we just said like 
I know Sam mentioned in the beginning, but we were both registered nurses, right? So we also have the scientific evidence-based um, experience in, in the, the healthcare system. So we understand disease. We, under, we have both healed ourselves of physical, mental, emotional disease and continue to do so. So you're getting a very um, wide perspective when you come to us because we are working with spirit, but we also have that hands-on experience with, with medicine, the way medicine is taught in this realm, right? So we've taken all of that. That's why we really have anchored into that limitless sort of label because it's like we've taken all of that and made it our own modality. And I know I speak for myself and I'm sure Sam would echo my sentiments, but really I, you know, I went into nursing to help people, right? That's why most of us do. And I can honestly say since leaving my job, it's been almost a year that I left my job, I have felt more empowered doing this work and I have felt more um, like what I've done in this work has helped people on a magnitude that I never could have done that as a nurse. I, I couldn't have. I, I had rules to follow. I had science that was taught to me in a very limited way and this is how things are done, right? So this is why I left the system. It didn't resonate and I want to create a healthcare system that's actually focused on health and wellness and living versus let's focus on disease and just surviving through it and finding a a band-aid to fix like we're all about getting to the root cause of stuff and that's what all of our modalities are focused on is getting to the root cause and giving you the tools to heal yourself because we are not here to heal you we're here to help you guide you but you can heal yourself just like we've done and when you um, allow yourself to receive whatever spirit gives you in our sessions and really take that guidance and the tools they give you we've seen people do amazing things for themselves so we're here to empower you. Um, I've never felt more disempowered by a system than I have in the healthcare system. So I'm here to change that. So. Yes, sister. So are you. And one last thing, we also do um, house clearing or land clearing. And because we look at what people consider as evil or entity. Negative. <laughs> negative differently. Yeah. Um, we look at fear differently. We have a, we come from a very compassionate aspect and we, since we're able to channel, um, we all can channel. It's just a matter of like tapping in completely, but we, we have been able to clear lands and homes of a lot of stuck trapped energy that really people have thought that there was negative or evil on the land or in the home that that it's not there now, it, it needed love. And so me and Maria and I, we work with the guides, we go in and we're like, we're in the house, we're on the land where we're in all of it. And we're seeing the story that was played out in history or whatever, like why there's someone still stuck there. Um, oh yeah, we do psychopunk, we cross souls over that have passed. Oh yeah, I'm like, there's another, <laughs> like there's another modality I'm forgetting of. Yeah, that's a it's crazy because what happens is we combine so much of it into like sort of one thing that that's why we forget every little modality but <laughs> yes little, but we, we do a lot of um we've had people come and say like oh there's something wrong with my land i've been told to leave um i hear there's three people following me i'm really scared so we tap into that and we see what what that is like what is that because if you go around thinking that there's something bad following you or where you live or your land you're just you're adding unconsciously to that to that energy which is bringing fear and it's bringing more heaviness so we go in and we clear it out and we support you and um we've, we've done a lot of um other people will call them they're not like exorcisms but they're I don't know compassion it's it's like a it's like a, yeah it's like an extraction because I think the reason Sam and I don't see things as evil, negative, right? Because again, that's just a, that's another label. We literally see everything as energy. Everything is just energy. So when we're tapping in, we don't have fear about like, is this an evil? No, we're going into to feel the frequency of the energy. That's what we're tapping into. And fear has a very low frequency. Love has a very high frequency. So a lot of these 
well, all of these situations where people are believing there's evil, negative entity things, it's, it's an energy there that is stuck in fear. And so this is why she and I have done a insane amount of fear, shadow work on both of us and together that has allowed us to really be able to do these kinds of readings for people without um, getting sucked into the fear of it like a lot of people do and even other readers. And this is not me bashing other readers. It's just, it's again, it's that, are you really being the hollow bone, right? Like when you're the hollow bone, spirit is not afraid of those things because spirit knows we're all one. It's all just energy. But sometimes for these energies to be released, they need to be loved. And it's, it's, it's hard for the human to love the dark, to love the fear, right? But that's why when we're in our trance state, we can go in and help to extract these energies or free these energies that are ready to, to move to a higher frequency of light. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's basically so, um, psychopomping or yep. death doula. It's we just we find a, a soul that's stuck that's been passed or it's been frozen or is like even someone that's in a coma. Um, we can go yep. in and kind of see what's going on. Like the other day, someone was out of their body in a coma and, you know, they gave me a kind of a life story of them and then we brought them back into their body. And it's just it's to help the soul, whether it's to come to wake up or to cross over and to to heal and and not be like in this turmoil lower frequency state right right so we do a lot of that too um we do a lot of stuff but yes. we love you and that's why we do a lot of stuff and we work on ourselves all the time so we can continue to help everyone else yes um so that's what we're here for and we just wanted to kind of give a verbal description because i we know our, our website, it has a lot on it. And depending on where you're at in your spiritual journey, it doesn't always make sense. So we thought if we got on and just gave a little bit of a, a little uh, rundown of like what our actual services entail, it would help people out when they go to our site. And um, yeah, so that's, that's us. We're the Limitless Soul Sisters from Branches of Vibrational Healing. And we love you. And we hope to see you at a free meditation. And also check out our YouTube page because that's where we upload the meditations and we're also starting to upload um, some authentic raw chats between the two of us. So those are going to be fun to watch. So hope hey, to see you there. Yes, we love you all and have a beautifully empowered day wherever you are. Yes, love you. Love Bye. You. Bye. Oops, how do I end it? <laughs> love you. Bye. <laughs> love you.